Hey, this is Judge and Waste bringing you another Crota's End video. In this one, we are taking out Crota himself in the hard raid. Now, I've done this a bunch of different ways, and I'm going to show you what the best method, the most reliable method is to actually get this done. Now, you're going to need a hunter, and you're going to need at least one Titan. Two Titans makes it a little bit easier, but you definitely just need one of each of those. Now, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm just shooting off all my primary ammo. This is a method that you can get heavy ammo to spawn glory. You saw some there. You see some in the backside and there's actually heavy ammo spawning behind me if you don't know how to do this please check out my previous video where it's actually a couple of videos back but I show you how to get heavy ammo to drop every single time and it doesn't just work in Crota's end here it works regardless of where you use it now I'm gonna switch weapons because you need the icebreaker to actually get the heavy weapon ammo to drop but once it does drop, then I'm gonna switch to my preferred weapons, which just happens to be the Black Hammer and the G-Horn. If you don't have that, you can use whatever rocket launcher you like. But uh, like I said, make sure you check out that previous video. Now, the second thing that you wanna make sure that you do in this room is you wanna leave those two yellow knights to the very end and then have somebody take them out with their supers in order to generate as many orbs as you can. So somebody did that, you can see five orbs right there, one orb and then another eight orbs. You should be able to generate eight or nine orbs on each side and those are gonna come in handy. Now, as soon as we get that done, we're gonna go out here to the middle area right in front of this glass right here jump over here and then we're gonna start looking for that sword bear as soon as you see him you want to lay into him with your sniper rifles or your G horns or your rocket launchers and try and drop him as soon as possible when that happens or even right before that happens you want your hunter to go down there pick up that sword and to get in position once that hunter is in position he's gonna call damage and then we're gonna end up dropping Crota now in order to keep the hunter alive there is a Titan that goes over here on the right hand side Side. you can see the bubble right there I'm gonna show you in the next video but they're gonna put a bubble right there and stay in that bubble that is gonna draw the shots from the boomers and keep them from targeting the sword bearer now as soon as that sword bearer does those two swords then we're gonna head inside you can stay on the outside but I like actually heading into the inside because I want to pick up these bubbles and actually get my super back and also pick up these heavy ammo weapon packs that we have in here so you don't actually have to put a bubble at that door like I did and that was a horrible bubble placement by the way and you're gonna see me fail another time but you can do that it just helps everybody stay alive now we're gonna wait for Crota to go back to the middle and then we're gonna head outside again if you have an extra Titan they could put a bubble right here it's not really that important a lot of times you're gonna be able to make it out there you can run three out one direction three out another direction just make sure everybody runs out at the same time that way the boomers don't hit the trailing people and here is a massive fail on my part it is my turn to actually put that bubble shield up there I failed the jump right there but luckily I managed to get up here you want to place this bubble right about here and you want to do it as soon as the guy grabs the sword and remember you have to stay inside this bubble don't go out of it that way the boomers will shoot at you Crota will shoot at you and leave that sword bear alone and let me explain something about the sword bear too you really want a hunter to go up there somebody with increased melee speed they're gonna go up there about the same time that you're dropping him hit him with three right triggers then they're gonna drop the sword go invisible wait for us to drop him a second time and then they're gonna hit him again with either three swords or three right triggers or four right triggers now as soon as we do that we're gonna head down into this right ogre room this is the room that the first ogre comes out of so you want to jump up here on these doorways we usually have three people on this doorway and three people on the doorway to my right the doorway to my right that's where the ogre actually comes out of and if you have a titan with the ability to drop a bubble that will actually disorientate anything that goes through it go ahead and put that right against the door the ogre will come out his head will stick out and you can still take him out now be careful with rocket launchers a lot of times you can blow yourself up you might want to stick to sniper rifles grenades and supers and things like that but as soon as you drop that one then this one comes out of course you want to try and drop this one without getting shot by that void damage gatling gun that that thing has that thing will melt you super fast so use your sniper rifles if you hit them in its critical spot a lot of times you can lock him up so take him out and then be careful coming out
out here. We like putting a bubble right here. If you have the extra Titan and can do that, go ahead and do that. But as you can see, I get hit by one of the thralls and almost die. Keep jumping. Make sure you watch out for cursed thralls. You can actually stand in that doorway and actually shoot those guys, get rid of them before you actually go up in there. I actually recommend doing that. But we made it in here and now we're just going to wait for Crota to move back to this middle. Now, as soon as Crota moves back to this middle, I'm going to go out here, plant my bubble. You don't have to put this bubble here. I needed to get my health back, so that's why I went ahead and did that. And we have another person on our team, another Titan, that is going to do that same bubble trick over on the right-hand side. So when you get to this point, it's all the same, with the exception of instead of standing in front of the glass on the middle side, you want to go ahead and stand a little bit over to the left because sometimes there's some thralls that will actually reach through that glass and end up taking you out. So we drop the sword bear though, just like normal. We wait for our sword bear to go up there. He calls damage. We're gonna go ahead and shoot Crota, do it just like we've done. We got the guy on the right with the bubble shield, like I already said, but that person's gonna go in there. Then as soon as he gets down to about 10% health, it might be 15, might be 12%, I don't know what it is, but he goes ahead and rages. Don't panic, just go ahead and drop him again. And then the sword bear is gonna go in there and get the job done. But that, like I said, that has to be the easiest way that I found or the most reliable way that I found. Of course, you can do it in three swords and then two swords or do different things like that. But for beginners, I think this is gonna be the easiest way for you to accomplish that. Now, if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them for me. I hope this helps you out, guys, but this is where I'm gonna end it. As always, though, take care and God bless.